Cardinal Carl is back again, and thanks for watching. Let me ask you a question. Do you want to get paid accurately and on time? I'm going to take a guess here and say you do. In that case, buckle up and let me show you how to enter your time as a positive time reporter. Remember, positive time reporters have to enter and submit all of their hours worked. As usual, we will start here at the Cardinal homepage. From here, simply click the time tile to open your timesheet. Once your timesheet displays, first verify that the correct dates display for the time you need to enter. Remember, you can always use the fields within the Select Another Timesheet section to navigate to the applicable dates if you need to. In this case, the correct timesheet is displayed, as we will be entering time for Monday, November 29th through Friday, December 3rd, 2021. Before we start, let me give you a summary of the time that we will be entering. For this particular week, you worked 8 regular hours each day, Monday through Friday. You also worked 2 hours of overtime at time and a half on Tuesday. In this scenario, chart fields entry is optional for you, and the overtime hours need to be charged to the chart fields for a special project you were asked to work on. Therefore, you need to enter the chart fields information for the overtime hours. Remember, some employees will never have to do this, but just in case, I want to show you how to do it. Always check with your supervisor if you have any questions about whether you need to enter chart fields information. Now let's get started. First, enter all of your regular hours in the first row of the timesheet grid. Once entered, complete the first row by selecting the applicable regular hours time reporting code. Use the next available row to enter the two overtime hours that you worked on Tuesday. Remember to select the appropriate time reporting code which in this case is the overtime at time and a half. Now, let's enter the special project chart fields for your overtime hours. Scroll over to the right and click the chart fields link for the applicable row. The chart field common component page displays. There are a couple of things that I need to point out to you here. There are a few different ways to enter the chart fields components. First, you could simply enter or select the applicable information in each of the corresponding chart field detail fields. Second, if your agency uses speed types, you could then search using the speed type provided to you and save yourself some manual data entry. For this scenario, we will use the speed type functionality. Start by clicking the speed type search button. Enter the applicable speed type into the speed type key field and then click the search button. The chart field's information populates in the appropriate component fields based on the speed type entered. Review the information to ensure accuracy, and then click Select. The chart field common component page redisplays with the applicable chart field's information. You can still make manual changes to any of the fields here if you need to. But if everything looks good, as we will assume it does in this case, just click OK. Your timesheet redisplays. Scroll back over to the left as needed and click Submit. Click OK on the Submit Confirmation page and your timesheet will redisplay. And that's it! You have entered and submitted your time for this particular week. You will learn more about what happens now that you've submitted your time in the next module. This is Cardinal Carl signing out. For now.